first month of school is now complete for students on Vancouver Island. But did you know how many children go to school hungry? Well, that's where Kids Club comes in with its brown bag lunch program to help feed hundreds of Greater Victoria students every week. And as Tess Van Stratton shows us in this week's Vital People, demand is higher than ever and they need more help. 30 cheese strings. So those are the cheese strings there. The team at Kids Club is busy packing food totes for Greater Victoria schools. The demand has just increased so much because of COVID and the prices in food has gone up so much that they just can't afford to feed the children anymore and the children aren't going to learn if they don't have food in their stomach. Are they apple here? The brown bag lunch program was started in 2000 after Kids Club noticed children were coming to their programs without lunches. About 500 kids a day go through one of our programs and schools were contacting us identifying kids coming to school without lunch so we wanted um, we want to support families that's our organization's mandate. The program which is run on grants and donations now serves up around 750 healthy lunches a week. It's an amazing program there's always families in our communities that that struggle and we feel at school that this is one way that we can help our families come to school and know that their kids are getting a healthy lunch. 13 schools from Victoria to Souk are currently part of the program, but demand is so high, several other schools are on a wait list for help. Well, I wish we could help everybody. It would be nice to have food for everybody. You know, some schools have a high demand. You know, we've got schools on the wait list that are 25 children a day, and that's a lot of hungry children. We can't do any more than we're doing right now well. Um, we're looking at ways to increase um, what we can do because we really want to continue to meet the need in the community. All the donations go directly towards buying food, so an increase in donations, along with getting volunteers to help pack the bins, would be needed to expand to more schools. But Michelle's hopeful that as more people hear about the program, they'll want to help. When people hear that there's kids going to school without lunches, they're often really surprised. Um, just awareness that there are people really struggling in the community. John Stubbs is next. For Deb, who's been a part of the lunch program for the last decade, knowing that they're making a difference is incredibly rewarding. Oh, I'm really happy to do that. You know, to do your part to help the community in any way we can. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.